Hello everyone, my name is Seppo and welcome back to Native Engineering. We are still on cycles, power merchants and six, and today we are looking at the diesel cycle, which is also known as the slow speed cycle. First, let's look at the difference between the working principle of the petrol and the working principle of the diesel engine. On the port, we are having the cylinder of the petrol engine and the cylinder of the diesel engine. Just by looking at the structure, we can spot that here we are having a fuel a, a spark plug and here we are fuel we are having a fuel injector, which is the first difference on the petrol and the diesel engine. Another thing, the compression ratio of the of the diesel it's greater than the compression ratio of the petrol engine. This is the petrol and this is the diesel. Now we start with our combustion. First, it's the induction, induction stroke. The piston is moving from the top dead center to the bottom dead center. On the petrol engine, a fuel mixture is introduced into the combustion chamber. And on the diesel engine, only air is introduced into the combustion chamber. And we go to the compression stroke. Since we have a fuel mixture inside the combustion chamber, that compression that, that fuel mixture will be compressed as the piston is moving from the bottom dead center to the uh, top dead center. And here, since we only have air, that is what is going to be compressed as the piston is moving from the bottom dead center to the top to the top dead center and then we have our next stroke which is the power stroke now as the piston reaches its top dead center the spark plug will spark will, will, will ignite the air fuel mixture that is now in the clearance volume and just because it is under pressure there will be combustion, which will force the piston to move from the from the top dead center to the bottom dead center, and that's our power stroke. On our diesel engine, we only have air into the system. The air is compressed, and as the piston reaches our top dead center, and because we said the compression ratio of the diesel is higher than the compression ratio of the petrol that tells us that the temperature of the air which is now in the currency volume will be higher than what it would be if it was in the petrol engine as the piston reaches its top dead center the fuel injector will introduce the diesel for the first time into the the currency volume and as the diesel mix with the high temperature air that is in the clearance volume the temp the the high temperature will cause the diesel that is being introduced to to to, to ignite and combustion will take place which will cause our piston to move from the top dead center to the bottom dead center and then from here we will have our exhaust stroke where now our outlet valve will open and top dead end piston is moving from the bottom dead center to the top dead center which will drive the bend gases that are in the combustion chamber out of the cylinder and then we let's draw the pv diagram of the diesel our PV diagram will look here it's the pressure and here it's the volume this is the clearance volume we we'll start from number one he this will be our induction stroke where now the air is introduced into the cylinder as we can tell that there is a increase there is an increase in prey in volume from here 
we are going to have the compression which is happening at constant at uh we take place using the other particular pv gamma it's equals to c and then we are going to have the combustion taking place at constant pressure unlike in the petrol in the pv diagram of the petrol where our combustion took place in constant volume this one in diesel the combustion will take place in constant pressure and from here we are going to have the expansion which is the power stroke which will also be using the other particular and then from here we are having this is where now our exhaust valve will open and heat is lost and then from there it's the exhaust stroke and since we already know that we ignore this part we take it as if we are using the same amount of air or the same amount of fuel inside the chamber this is one two three and four v1 will be here and it is equals to v4 v1 is equals to v4 here we'll have v3 and here we'll have v2 our ts diagram it's the same as the ts diagram for our petrol engine which will be something like this it's one two three and four r2 it's equals to r3 v1 is equals to v4 it's the ts diagram ts and this one is the pv diagram from one to two it's at their particular compression it's compression taking place uh using the other particular and we know at their particular there is no heat exchange therefore our entropy entropy one it's equal to entropy two there is no change in entropy here and then from one to three that is where our our combustion take place we know there will be there will be heat added which will be from one which will cause the entropy to increase from one, from two to three and then from here two three to four it's at a particular therefore no heat exchange which is entropy three it's equals to entropy four uh, and then from here four to three four to one that is where our exhaust valve will open and heat is lost which will cause a decrease in entropy and that is what our ts diagram will look like and v2 it's equals to the clearance volume v2 is clearance volume v three v v1 and four will be equals to v1 it's equals to v4 which will be the clearance volume and the swept volume plus the swept volume and our v3 now the only way we can have combustion taking place at constant pressure is if we increase the volume as we can see that the volume from t from uh, v2 to v 
three, it's increasing. That is why our combustion is taking place at constant pressure because the volume as the fuel as the diesel is introduced into the system the volume is increasing now from v1 to v3 from v2 to v3 sorry that is where the fuel injector is still introducing the diesel into the system and this point is where we say it's the cut-off point where now our injector stop uh, injecting the, 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 the fuel into the, into the chamber. This is where our power stroke will start. Yes, our piston was already moving from the top dead center. It was already moving. Let's say it is now here. But we will say the power stroke will start when we reach point number three which is the cut off uh of is the cut off point let's say the cut off point happens when our piston is here this is where we'll say the power stroke started the power stroke will start from here we know the power stroke in the petrol engine will start from the top the, from the top dead center to the bottom dead center as the piston is leaving the top dead center in the petrol engine that's where we say our power stroke is starting but here the power stroke will start when the fuel injector stops injecting fuel into the system and that is point number three to get the velocity of number three we will say first the clearance volume plus the swept volume let's say they let's say they tell us that the cut off happened at five percent of the swept volume we will say the percent we are going to put here and we are going to say times the swept volume since we want the percentage that was covered from the portion of the swept volume and since they told us let's say it's five percent we are going to say zero comma five percent times the swept volume it will depend on the percentage that they give you here that will be our v3 and then get let me erase this the work done it's equals to MR work done is equals to T3 minus T2 plus T3 minus T4 minus T Two plus T one gamma minus one. This can only be n if they tell you that the compression or the expansion happens using the polytropic law. And the S standard efficiency. It's we know it's heat rejected uh, divided by heat received. It's 1 minus heat rejected, Q rejected, divided by Q received, which will be 1 minus 1 divided by gamma into T2 minus T1 divided by T3 minus T two and that's everything that we need for us to do questions on the diesel uh, cycle i will see you on the next lesson